Well, 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 another Eagles game has come and gone. And man, man, oh man. Welcome to the Philly Sports Podcast, episode two. Brandon G here with you. We gonna get into it. Okay, that was the worst defensive performance I have ever seen in my life. The Arizona Cardinals was 3-12 and coming in to yesterday's game. 3-12, and nothing to play for. They were packing up, just waiting to get the season over with, and they come in here. And kick your tail. Just make, just, just sat there and made you look like bees. I'm not gonna say the word, but they just made them your bees, basically. Arizona did not punt in that game. They didn't punt the ball. So now the question is: You sat there and you made changes. You demoted Sean Desai and made Matt Patricia the uh, the, the default defensive coordinator, which didn't make any sense. I mean, it's still the same scheme. The players aren't good enough. The Eagles have no talent on defense besides Darius Slay. James Bradbury is done. Um, Shaq Leonard, done. Brandon Grahams, the Fletcher Cox, thank you. Thanks for the memories. You got to go. It, it, it's done. This team is just not good enough, and they're not going nowhere in the playoffs. They're not going anywhere in the playoffs. They did not punt the ball not one time, and the Eagles had a 21-6 to lead at halftime, and Arizona put up 29 points in the second half and literally beat you. Unacceptable and it's ridiculous. And no, I don't think Jonathan Gannon is going to be fired all but the simple fact is he didn't made the playoffs in his first year and he done made it to the Super Bowl in his second year. So he's not going to get fired. But let me tell you something. But let me tell you something. It doesn't matter if you make the playoffs, don't make the playoffs, go to the Super Bowl, win the Super Bowl. When you lose your locker room, it's done. AJ Brown's not speaking because AJ Brown, you know, AJ Brown doesn't want to say anything, and I and I understand because sometimes you just gotta be mute because if you say the wrong thing. Then it's going to turn into a problem. So I understand why he's being quiet. Because he ain't going to want to say nothing. He's like, I ain't saying anything, man. I'm just, I'm just shaking my head. Ain't really nothing to say. You can see it. You can see it right on his face. He ain't impressed by his coaching staff. What are they doing out there? You run quarterback draws on first and 20? I mean, what was going on? Nick Sirianni has just lost this team. He's, I think he's lost it. Got to keep finding answers, finding answers. You're not saying anything. You're saying the same thing. Oh, we've been through adversity. It's the same thing. Jalen Hurts sounds like his, his voice is muffled in the press conference. It's like it's the same stuff. Like These guys sound like robots. Jalen Hurts, you are a... $200 million quarterback. Have some emotion. I mean, the way that defense played yesterday, and once, and by, by the way, Happy New Year to everybody. It's the um, first uh, video of the New Year. So Happy New Year, y'all. Hope it's a great New Year. But this is just a terrible team. Like I said in my last video, they are a 5 and 11, 6 and 10 football team right right now. 
Forget about the record. This team doesn't even deserve to be in the playoffs. But we're going to watch the game because we're going to root for the Eagles. That's what we're going to do. We're going to watch because we all want them to win. We're going to watch. And we're hoping, oh, they'll turn around come playoff time. Playoff time is when you turn up. I don't see it. It's defense is no good. The Matt Patricia thing was, why? For what? She have kept showing the side and then at the end of the season decide what you're going to do. But Nick Sirianni, I don't have a clue what he is doing. They're confused, don't know who to come in. It's like, I don't, I, I don't think he got silly overnight. A 3-12 and Arizona Cardinal team that didn't punt the single game. And everybody thought, oh, they're going to win all these games. They're going to win out. They didn't win out. Right now, I don't care what the record says. This Eagle team is a bad team, trending horribly. And I'm not. And it's not even about this year, because they'll they'll play in the playoffs. I mean, there's nothing is guaranteed that you're going to lose or win. But what is going forward through next season? You're going to have the same guys in there. They go off to a 0 2, 0 3 start. I mean, what's going on? I know the Eagles' ownership, Jeffrey Lori Hyde Russell, they're not going to sit there and just wait two and three years to, to ride the ship. They said, listen, we've had too much success. And for you to go forward and, and, and go backwards, something's wrong. It's something internally going on, and we don't know what it is. So hopefully, the Eagles will get their situation together. Just rest the players. You're not winning the division. Washington's going to beat Dallas, and that's going to be it. I mean, everything was handed right to you, and you just said no. It was handed right to you. And don't give me this, well, it's hard to win in the NFL. That Arizona team was horrible. Everything was handed right to you. Sunday, handed right to you. The defense lets you down. Don't know what they're doing on defense. Offensively, I ain't have an issue offensively. But there's still some issues going on offensively. A.J. Brown wants the ball. Why not give it to your best player? So I don't blame A.J. Brown for feeling the way he feels. But sooner or later, guys are going to start speaking up. And there's going to be internal issues going on. And it's going to leak out because the coach has to get it under control. You have to be a leader said, listen, we're going through something right now, but we need to stick together. And I don't think they're sticking together right now. I just think it is unraveling right before our eyes. Well, that's we'll do it for this abbreviated Philly Sports Podcast episode two. Episode three will be a more expanding edition. I will get into the Sixers, and I'm gonna get into this sports reporter that you probably know who I'm gonna, gonna talk about because this reporter slash radio host has an agenda when it comes to certain teams in this town. And yeah, I'm going to get into that on my next episode. Didn't have time again today, but I'm gonna dig deep and I'm gonna get into it with um, certain um, episodes. I'm gonna have I'm gonna have plenty of receipts, so check that out. This is Brandon G. I'm out.